Hey guys, I'm Kevin Kleitches, and today I'm gonna to share seven essential tools to help you succeed with your photography business in 2021. If your goal is to crush it this year with your business, I think you'll find these tools really valuable. Let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is a versatile camera kit. And really, I just wanted to use this first tip to talk about gear because I get a lot of questions about what I shoot and I wanted to share that, but also it's the beginning of the year a lot of us want to upgrade our gear. It's a fresh slate, a new start. Um, I shoot with the Fuji X-T3. I also have the GFX100 for select jobs. Um, the, the Fuji system, the Fuji brand is incredible. I've been shooting with them since 2016. Um, switched over from Canon and I have never looked back. They're great. But uh, you want to pick out a system that's you know versatile and useful for what you shoot. So as a portrait shooter, I love my prime lenses. I have a 23, a 35, and a 56 on the Fuji kit, which is basically a 35, 50, and 85 millimeter equivalent on a full frame. So those lenses cover the entire range, everything I need for portrait photography. And I also have the uh, 16 to 55 sitting right here on my desk for those editorial jobs and jobs where I don't have, you know, all the time in the world to change lenses leisurely. I have to like move quickly. And, um, the, you know, the 16 to 55 uh, zoom lens is great for that reason. So I definitely recommend having a zoom lens in your camera bag. It's just, it's just so worth it. If you're looking for an affordable mirrorless camera, I highly recommend that you check out Fuji's X series lineup of cameras. It's incredible. I made a video that you can watch above that covers my favorite lenses for the X-T3 system. Okay, next up is lighting. So when I first started photography, I shot exclusively natural light. And like many people, uh, I stuck with natural light for a long time. It was just easy. I didn't have to carry gear around, but over time I realized that I was really limiting myself and I wasn't offering uh, the best possible production for my clients by sticking to just natural light. I had to learn how to use artificial lights. And so um, over time, as I picked up more commercial clients, I started incorporating artificial lighting in my images. So whether or not you wanna start with a simple flash, whether it's on camera or just an off camera flash, or you want to incorporate strobes into your work, I highly recommend that you pick up some lighting and incorporate lighting in your work. If you're looking for an affordable set of good quality strobes, I really can't recommend Godox enough. So Godox is also known as Flashpoint on Adorama. So if you shop on Adorama, it's gonna be known as Flashpoint. You won't find any Godox branded stuff, but it's the same hardware. So just know that. I had the Flashpoint Explorer 600 the Flashpoint Explorer 400 Pro and a couple of their fl like flashes or speed lights. Um, I think speed light is like a Canon thing. Uh, whatever, anyway, you get what I'm saying. The Godox system has proven to be a really, really awesome uh, lighting system for me and it's a really great alternative to far more pricier uh, brands out there like Profoto, which is also a great system, but um, it can be hard on the wallet. So Godox, Flashpoint, can't go wrong. Okay, let's talk about color grading. So color grading is a huge part of cultivating your own personal style, but it can be pretty intimidating because there are just so many different options out there and it can get overwhelming where to take your image. When I first started, I was using presets. I used presets for a few years before I just stopped using them because I got frustrated with the fact that so many presets were really heavy handed and I used presets in Lightroom where I couldn't adjust the opacity. It just didn't look that great. Yes, you can tweak them, but I felt like my images looked way too similar to the other people using those presets and I wanted to stand out with my work. So today I use a tool called Infinite Color Panel, which is a Photoshop plugin that lets you create a color graded version of your image with one click. Now that's not to say that you'll be finished with one click. So how it works is you click a button and it creates a version of your image for you with uh, several different layers and it's a different color grade. So if you don't like it, you can click that button again and it will come up with a different version or a different color grade. So it's not that you can just click the button and be finished. Oftentimes what you'll have to do is stack different layers and 
change the opacity of those layers until you get the exact look that you're going for. But what's really, really great about this tool is that sometimes it will suggest or give a color grade for your image that you never would have thought of before. Some of my favorite images that I've created have been a result of using Infinite Color Panel. It's a really awesome tool. You guys really need to check it out. I use it for every single image that I edit. Another great thing about the software is that it's not subscription-based, so you don't have to pay month to month. It's a one-time, I believe it's $129, and occasionally they run sales. So totally worth checking out. There's a link in the description to check out Infinite Color Panel. Definitely do it. Okay, next up is client galleries. First off, I got a rant. I cannot believe that there are photographers that will give images via Google Drive or Dropbox. Those galleries are ugly, man. Like, it's terrible. As photographers, visual presentation is important. And Pixie Set is a really, really awesome client gallery service. It lets you drag and drop your finished images into the Pixie Set interface and it will arrange all of your images beautifully. It's so well organized, it looks awesome. That alone is worth the price of the service, but there's so much more than that. For example, uh, one of the features that I use so often is the favorites feature. So if I create proofs for my clients and I send them the gallery, they're able to pick out exactly which images they want me to edit. Um, I do this a lot for my commercial clients. And what happens is they'll, they'll view the gallery on their computer or phone and for any image that they want me to edit, they can just simply tap, tap or click the heart icon of that image. And it'll ask them to create a favorites list. So they enter their email and then once they're done, I get to see on my end exactly which images they've picked out, which is so incredibly easy. Before it would be about sending screenshots or the, the file number, and this is what we want. No, it's just simple. They can pick out the photo and I see it right away. It's amazing. So Pixie Set has a free plan that I think limits you to 1,000 images that you can upload to the site. Otherwise, they have paid plans beginning at $10 a month. Well worth it. I highly recommend that you guys give Pixie Set a try. There's a link in my description. Okay, now we're gonna talk about backup and storage. If you guys aren't backing up your photos and all of your image assets, I mean, I'm telling you, there's no excuse. Guys, it's really cheap. To do it i pay six dollars a month to get unlimited backups with backblaze so backblaze is a service that lets you connect your uh, all your hard drives to your computer and you register your computer basically and all of your images all everything on there is backed up to the cloud if you have 10 different external hard drives and you connect that to your computer it's all backed up that's incredible i have i don't know 20 30 terabytes worth of photos over the years back up to Backblaze. So there's no reason not to do it. People that rely on just hard drives, I mean, hard drives will fail. It's just a matter of time. You wanna have redundancy in your backup plan. So yes, duplicate your images onto a different external hard drive, but also back up all of your photos to the cloud. There's no reason not to do it. $72 a year, $6 a month, $72 a year is well worth the price for at least the peace of mind, knowing that if you if you just lose access to your files um, on your local machine, you're able to log into the site and download those files from the cloud. There's a link in the description for a free 15-day trial of Backblaze. Check it out. Okay, next I wanna talk about contracts and insurance, two very exciting topics. But these topics aren't talked about enough. Even though they're essential parts of your business, you should be sending a contract to every single client that you work with that outlines the scope of the agreement and what you're responsible for and not responsible for. I highly recommend becoming a member of PPA, which stands for Professional Photographers of America. As a member, you get access to a host of different contract templates like portrait contracts, model releases, property releases, photo licensing agreements, and so on. These contracts are essential for your business. You need them. As a member of PPA, you also get $15,000 worth of equipment insurance included with your membership. You can also purchase additional equipment insurance if you need to, in addition to general liability insurance, which is a must-have because you never know what's gonna happen on set if a client 
breaks their ankle while they're working with you and they want to sue you, you're covered with general liability insurance. A membership with PPA is $27 a month, which is so worth the cost for even just the contracts alone, but for everything else included, highly, highly recommend. There's a link in the description to get $35 off your first year of membership. Okay, last but not least, CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. I've used two different CRMs in the past. One is called 17 Hats, which is really great if you shoot primarily retail-based photography. And when I say retail, I mean shooting portraits, engagements, weddings, things where the client is not going to have uh, financial gain from the images that you create for them. It's just for them to enjoy personally. 17 Hats lets you send questionnaires, contracts, invoices. They have a bookkeeping feature. It's really great if you want to keep your client stuff organized, all your client projects in one place. For commercial projects, Blink Bid is second to none. It's so awesome. Since I started doing commercial photography two years ago, I started using Blinkbid and it's made the process of creating an estimate so easy. Blinkbid has a drag and drop feature so that when you're creating an estimate, it has a list of possible expenses and fees for your shoot. So you can just simply drag and drop the things that are applicable to the shoot that you're bidding on. And it's just so great because sometimes when you're thinking about or anticipating expenses, you might overlook a few things. But when you can see that exhaustive list of things, it might help you realize that, hey, this shoot is going to require a wardrobe stylist or a first and second assistant or a digital tech. And all those things are there for you so that you can include them in your estimate if you need to. Another great thing about Blinkbid is that they have included contract language built in. So that language will pertain to the copyright information, image licensing that you can customize and build, and also requiring 50% of the advance to initiate the production. One more thing that I find super helpful is that you can send contracts to be signed digitally. You can just send them the contract, they sign it right there on their phone or their iPad, and they send it right back to you. Done. Blinkbid is $16 a month, but you can use the link in my description to get 10% off an annual plan. So those are the seven essential tools that you guys need to succeed with your photography business this year. I hope that you found those resources invaluable. Please feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions about what I covered in this video. I have an open book, so I wanna help you guys as much as I can. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.